Welcome to this week's of Mechanic Madness with Josiah and Kian. Last time we showed you guys how to air up a tire. And this week we're going to be showing you how to drive a manual transmission. You ready to have some fun? Sadly, this week we will uh, be missing Jacob due to basic training. Wish him luck and keep him in your prayers. But yeah, we don't have him this week, so. All right, so first we're gonna be starting the manual truck. So you're gonna put the key in, you can twist it. Most of said wait to start. You gotta let the glow plugs get ready to start. So sometimes you gotta do it a couple of times, especially when it's cold out. All right, so since it's in first gear, you gotta push the clutch in because if you don't, it's gonna might do a wheelie or something. Just gonna throw that bad boy in neutral. And you gotta pull the uh, parking brake. A lot of people put the parking brake on because you can't always trust the gear and it could roll. So a lot of people put the parking brake on and if you drive with the parking brake on. It's not good. Now we're just gonna let it warm up for a little bit. All right, so going over the pedals, this is your gas. This is your brake, just like a normal car. And this bad boy is the clutch. So when you push that in, it basically acts as like neutral. This is the parking brake. So when you push that in, it's a brake. Okay, so to go, you have to shift it into gear, right? So you have to push the clutch lever in, and then whichever gear you want to go in. But when you're starting out, you're not gonna put in a driver, it's gonna shut off. So over, up is first, down is second, fourth, third, that's for most of them, but some of them are different. So we're gonna put this bad boy into first, then you're gonna slowly let off the clutch and give it a little bit of gas at the same time. And then you go. You usually want to wait about 2,000 RPMs. Then you're going to shift it a second. And you just kind of go with the flow from there. It's a lot easier once you get started. All right, when you're going to approach to a stop, you can't just stop when you're in gear because then it'll just shut off because it still thinks it's in fourth gear. Whereas an automatic, it's just automatic, so it just does it for you. But when you're with a manual, you gotta push the clutch in, put it into neutral because then it's in no gear, and you can just kind of glide and just stop like normal. And then once you do that, it's still on. Depending on how your uh, vehicle you're driving is geared, if, you're, if you need to slow down for something, you have to put it in neutral, and then you just go again because it's like a, I don't know, like cautious. If you're being cautious when you might need to stop, and you're just kind of coasting, you have to figure out how your vehicle is geared because then you gotta put it back into gear to go. But if you're still going and you put it into first gear, it's gonna bust, not good. So like right now, you could probably put it in a, I'm gonna put it in a second. Then you're good. Sometimes you just gotta mess with what you think is good. Cause if you go on like kind of fast and it won't, you won't get into second, then you just go up to third and if it goes in and there you go. It's not a big deal if you mess up because you can just go into the next gear up. What you don't want to do is put it into reverse. 
I'm not going to show you what happens there because it's, you can look up videos, but do not put it into reverse when you're going forward. Thanks for joining me and Yost this time on Mechanic Madness. And uh, if you have any questions about what we just talked about, you know where to find us.